Hi guys, this is Tyra from Tyra's Tutoring, uh, aka the Christian Scientist. And today I am going to show you how I created this 3D diorama of the coral reef ecosystem. Let's go! All right, so we have our empty work plane. Um, this is where we gonna set the scene. So the first step is to set the scene. Um, and what, it, what I do is I look on the right hand side on the panel underneath basic shapes. I'm gonna take a cube, place it on the corner of my work plane and drag it all the way down this will allow me to create my sandbox um, or the sand at the bottom of the ocean so I'm gonna push this down to make it a little bit more flat and then I'm also gonna change the color um, to make it a sandy color I think that's good Let's look around, see how flat it is. It looks pretty flat. Okay, now I'm gonna take the same cube again. Or oh, they have it labeled as a box. And I am going to place it um, at the corner again. What we're gonna do is we're going to create um, just a, a a little wall to represent the rest of the ocean. Hold on, let me move this back a little bit so we can get to the edge. And then what I'm gonna do is drag it up. So I'm gonna drag this up just to represent the sea and we're going to make this a nice blue color to represent the sea excellent so we have our sea wall and our sand at the bottom the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to draw seaweeds and to do this I use the squiggly, what they call the squiggly or the scribble feature. I'm going to place it on the work plane in my sand. And then I am going to draw. This is a touch screen laptop that I'm using. So you might not see the, the mouse move, but I'm going to draw little squiggly lines to represent seaweed. And as you can see on the right hand side, we have a preview of how that's going to look. So let's press done. So um, I want to decrease the width of this. We're going to decrease it exponentially. And then I'm going to also decrease the size so it can look a little bit more skinnier. And then what I want to do is stand it up. So I'm going to find the cursive arrows that will allow me to stand it up. This will allow me to turn it sideways. So if I play around with it, it'll turn sideways. This will allow me to turn it on the plane, to rotate it on the actual plane. Is this at zero? Yeah. And this hair will allow me to stand it up 90 degrees. Boom. Um, I see the width is still a bit wide, so I'm gonna decrease that even more. 
and I'm going to use this black arrow here to pull it up out of the sand. I still want it in the sand because I want it to represent CB coming out of the sand. All right. Then I'm going to change the color to a nice green color. It could be this green, this dark green, or a lime green. Hmm. I'll do a variation of both. Okay. So that's our seaweed. Um, next, what I want to do is create brain coral. So I'm going to use this half sphere and place the brain coral right here. Obviously, brain coral has um, little grooves and crevices um, on it, but I, I think the half sphere is just fine. Then I want to create a sea fan. So what I do is I will um, use the scribble again. I'll click on the scribble, place it on my work plane, and we're gonna draw the sea fan. So normally a sea fan looks like branches upon branches. So I'm gonna draw the first branch. I'm gonna draw the second branch like that. And the third branch like that but let's make sure it's connected and then after that break we're gonna draw branches off of the branches Okay, there you have it. That's our C fan you could look and see on the preview on the right hand side. Press done. Decrease the width of the C fan a bit. And also the size that make it a little bit more skinnier. Look for the arrow on the plane. Put it to 90 degrees. And then lift her up out of the sun. If you like the size of the sea fan, you could leave her just like that. Maybe let's make her a little bit wider. And then a little bit shorter. And then I'm gonna make the sea fan a pink color. make a pink color okay this is just a basic general idea of what I did and then um, I can take this now and copy my seaweed I can duplicate it using the duplicate and repeat so I'll duplicate it um, using control D And as you can see, it's going to duplicate as you oh, as you move it. It's going to duplicate over and over and over again. What I want to do is create a box. with a lot of seaweed. Okay. So now, the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use my I guess you could say my box arrow and drag it over this surface here 
and I'm going to create the group. I'm going to group it, group it as one so that I am able to duplicate the whole thing and spread it across the sand. Picked up the wrong thing. And there you have it. In just two minutes, you can have an entire coral reef on the seafloor. What I did for the starfish was I scrolled down the basic shapes and I picked up the star. And I placed it on my plane. I lifted up just a little bit and I changed the color to red. Let me indent it some more, bring it out to the front so you can see it. And then, of course, I'm going to duplicate this and place it elsewhere on my... There you go. Also, I can use text and I can place it here in the front. Right here. And in the text, I'll say... Coral ecosystem There we go, Let's enter I can change the font of the text to sans moto or sans, but I like multi-language. I think multi-language is the best one. Let me decrease the size of it a little bit to fit to fit the screen. And then also, let me change the plane, change it, let it stand up a little bit. I don't, I don't want it to stand up all the way. I want it to be a little bit reclined. So let me decrease the size. There we go. Zoom in. There you have it. And then also what I love about Tinkercad is that it does have some um, pre-designed pre um, characters or shapes or um, structures that you would need. So let's say I want an animal. So I go to the animal and I could take a sea of sharks and place it on my plane. So I can lift this up just a smidge and move her over. Make it smaller. Zoom in. I also would have included um, some shapes that I would have created, like this clownfish. So I put my clownfish here. I'm actually using my arrow keys to move the clownfish in position. And then I'm going to bring, bring my 
clownfish up so you can see it. This clownfish is all the way in the back there. Let's try to get this one. And then I also created this turtle. I could put my turtle up here. And there you have it. This is a basic overview of how I created the um, 3D diorama of the coral reef ecosystem. And if you would like to know uh, more about how I created the clownfish and the turtle, feel free to leave me a comment down below and I surely will uh, create a video just to show you what I did. All right? So, Please subscribe, like it. I know that YouTube is not monetized in the Bahamas. Not yet, not yet. But it still would help me if you would pl please like and subscribe to, to get more content. And it would get me more um, views based on YouTube's algorithm. Until then, love, love one another. Love one another with the love of Jesus.